Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I look incredibly Stanley Kowalski today, minus the Brando muscles. I mean, I have some, but they're not like Brando. Um, and I'm also looking really tan, aren't I? It's been a really, really sunny winter. So today, I'd like to invite you all to a wonderful party that I'm throwing in my home. It's going to be a sausage party, and you're all invited. <laughs> he just laughed at that. What's so funny about a sausage party? Some of you out there are probably right now like, oh, Jeffrey, really? A sausage party? Yes, a sausage party. We're making some delicious sausage. So, you know me. You know how much I love pasta in the Instant Pot and how I love being creative with pastas and my love for pasta in the Instant Pot because, well, it makes amazing pasta. And sometimes people are like, why would you make pasta in the Instant Pot? Well, let me tell you something. It's no other way to make pasta ever again. It's the easiest. You don't have to boil the pasta ahead of time and then strain it out. It's perfect as is. It all cooks in the pot at once. So, guys. We're gonna make a sausage pasta today, but not just any sausage pasta. This is going to be literally the greatest sausage pasta ever. And I know, sometimes I make these bold statements and I might sound super cocky, but I'm telling you guys, I would never say these things if it sucked. And believe you me, I've made my share of tons of recipes that have totally sucked in the experimenting process. This one is not one of those. It does not suck. In fact, it's one of the greatest things ever, and you're gonna suck up every last drop. It's just literally one of my crown jewel recipes. I am so thrilled and elated to introduce you guys to Jeffrey's spin on sausage and shells. We're gonna start with two shallots that are basically smaller sized onions that are more oblong in shape and pack a pretty powerful punch. And let's dice them up and then set them aside. I also wanna take one 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts and I wanna drain them and then rip them up. So they look just like that. And uh, we'll come back to these a little later, okay? Now we wanna focus on our sausage for the recipe. Now we wanna use about one pound or 16 ounces worth, or if you wanna use more, feel free to use more. And I prefer to use Italian sausage for this. Now I love sweet Italian sausage, but I also love hot Italian sausage. And because unfortunately my supermarket didn't have a 50-50 split, I'm gonna use three of the six sweet sausage links and then three of the six hot ones. Again, if you wanna add more, you can add more. So uh, use about one pound though minimum, okay? And now that we have our six sausage links, which is gonna equal about a pound, three sweet Italian sausage, three hot, but you can use whatever kind of sausage you want. You don't even have to use Italian sausage. You can use chicken sausage. You can use tofu sausage, whatever you want to do. I want to take these and I want to cut them up in its raw, uncooked state into slices. So it looks just like that. Now it's okay when you're slicing each piece. If some of the casing comes off, don't worry about it. Just make sure it still looks like it's kind of together. Kind of almost like sausage balls at this point. All right, we'll be right back to that too. So now let's go to the Instant Pot and we're gonna add in a half a stick or four tablespoons of salted butter. So let's come down to our control panel and hit the saute button and make sure we're on the more or the high setting. And now that our butter is sizzling like Bette Midler and Beaches, let's add in our shallots. And then make sure it's nice and coated with the butter and then let them cook for about two to three minutes in the pot. Okay, and after about two to three minutes of our shallots cooking in the butter, we're now going to add in our sausage. And then just stir that around in the pot so everything's nice and coated. And let's also toss in a tablespoon of crushed or minced garlic. Okay, and now let's stir everything around in the pot for about another one to two minutes. We don't want our sausage to be fully cooked at this stage, guys. It's gonna do that when it comes to pressure. And again, if you wanna add in more sausage, add in more sausage. It's your choice. If you wanna use chicken sausage, use chicken sausage. Turkey sausage, use turkey sausage. Barbie doll sausage, feel free. Okay, and after about 90 seconds or so of stirring everything around, I'm gonna add in our next ingredient. And that's gonna be a cup of a dry white wine. If you don't have any white wine, if you only have white cooking wine, you can use that too. But of course, it's preferred to use regular dry white wine that you drink. But again, white cooking wine will be fine. And I want to add in three cups of garlic broth. That would be a tablespoon of garlic base, the better than bouillon garlic base, mixed with three cups of water. Or if you don't have the garlic base, you could totally use three cups of chicken broth. That's totally fine too. Now, if you watch my videos, you know how much I absolutely hate raw tomatoes. That includes grape or cherry tomatoes. I hate them raw, but once they're cooked, they become magical for me and I love them. So I'm gonna add in about a 10 ounce little container here of grape or cherry tomatoes. Put that in the pot, as well as a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a half a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. And give all that a nice good stir in the pot. Make sure all the seasonings are nice and combined with everything in there. Okay, a final step would be our pasta. 
And for this recipe, I'm using medium-sized shells. Okay, guys, I really suggest if you can use shells, use them, and definitely use medium size or small size, but medium is really, in my opinion, the perfect size for this. So I'm gonna add in an entire box, it's one pound worth of medium-sized shells. Now, I do not want to stir these shells. I just simply want to press them down so they're nice and submerged in all the liquid. And we don't want to stir them in because we don't want them to become too full in the pot of all the liquid and all the sausage. They should really kind of just rest on the top as best as possible while still remaining a bit submerged in there. So when we're looking like this and we have some still iceberging above the top, we're fine and we're totally done. And our very final ingredient here is to add some baby spinach, guys. I'm adding about five ounces worth. You can use up to like, you know, eight if you'd like. It cooks down into absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna place that right on top of everything. There we go, perfect. I am not gonna mix this up. In fact, all I'm gonna do now is add my lid on top. So let's get you on there and secure you and make sure you're in the sealing position. So now let's come back to our pot and hit the cancel button. And now we want to hit the pressure cook or the manual button depending on your model. And we want to go for six minutes on high pressure. That's it, just six minutes. Time's up, so we're ready to do a quick release. And the pin drops, so let's take the lid off. All right, and there's all of our spinach wilted on top. So now let's just stir everything in the pot around nice and good. Look at this, guys. I love how the pasta cooks so perfectly in the pot. And you see, once we start stirring, the tomatoes are nice and stewed as well. Okay, next step. I want to add in a third of a cup of half and half or heavy cream, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, now guys, if you've seen my straw and hay recipe, you've seen that I love adding some borsin to my pastas to make an incredible creamy, cheesy flavor to them. And Costco guys sells borsin in an incredible value. This was like $8.99 for three of them when it can normally be like $6.50 for one in the supermarket. It gives you two garlic and fine herb flavor and one shallot and chive, which is sandwiches right in between. Any of these is gonna be fine to use. We're only gonna use one of them. It's a 5.2 ounce package of borsin. I'm gonna choose the garlic and fine herbs for this one, guys. That'll work just fine as will the shallot and chive. And there we have it. I'm just adding in one 5.2 ounce package again and not all three of them. Save the other ones for other pastas or parties. You know, you can actually eat it how it's meant to be eaten. And so it easily disperses throughout the pot. I've cut my borsin up into cubes. So I'm gonna add that as well as my artichokes. And now let's stir everything around so everything gets nice and combined and incorporated with one another. Make sure all of the borsin gets nice and melted in with the sauce. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, this is looking ridiculous in the best possible way. Wow. Okay, and after about two minutes of stirring, all of our borsin should be nice and incorporated and combined into our sauce. And now we have this unbelievable garlicky, creamy, cheesy, white winey kind of sauce. Okay, let's put this in a serving dish and then we're gonna serve it up. Oh, wow. Okay, and let's put it in our serving dish. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this is looking beautiful, guys. Top of the line, sausagey, creamy goodness. Oh, look at all the spinach and the tomatoes and the sausage and the artichokes and everything. And it's time to try it out. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. It's time to come to the sausage party. I am so excited and I just can't hide it. Oh, wow. I, uh, I'm gonna level with you. It's times like these where I almost feel bad because I feel like I've had a newborn child and I love it more than the others. But then I know that's not true, I love everything. But right now, this has my tender love and care more than anything else on this earth. This is dynamite. Oh, oh. This pasta dish is remarkable on every single level. You have sausage in there, you have artichokes, you have tomatoes that are nice and stewed, you have spinach, you have creamy cheesiness going on in there, you have the shallots, you have everything, and that white wine flavor is to die for. If you don't drink white wine, by the way, just add another cup of chicken broth. The flavor is everything in this dish. And you know what, and it makes you feel a little healthier because you have tomatoes and you have artichokes and you have spinach in there. Popeye would approve of this pasta. The porky pig wouldn't. Richard, come here, I want you to try this. Yeah, I'd do use it myself this time. This time I'm gonna even let you feed yourself. Look at that. Yeah. I know that he has the capabilities to do that. I look so pasty, it's ridiculous. It's the lighting, let's just hold the lighting. Okay, there we go. Make sure you get on there. Mm. Oh wow. Not good? No, yeah, it's really good. Good. What do you, describe, describe it. Describe creamy. It. It's, um, 
Sausage, the sausage is great. I don't know what type of sausage you use. Premio. Premio sausage. Premio it's sausage. Yeah, it's a great kind of sausage to yeah. use. Ooh, artichokes. I didn't see those. Yes, artichokes, spinach, tomatoes that are basically stewed at this point. I put cherry mm. plum tomatoes in there, grape tomatoes, I mean. Very good. Good. It's creamy, and flavorful, cheesy, and very good. Very good. Richard, unbiased, would you recommend this dish to people? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Great. And did you notice I got new forks today? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. I got new forks. Because he keeps losing them. All right. Let me... <laughs> All right. Mmm. This sausage is so good. Everything about this is perfect. I love the shells, too. The shells are so fantastic for this. Mmm. That sauce. Once it sets for a few moments, it thickens up perfectly. So don't worry. It's not going to be watery. It's not going to be runny. Once you add the cheese, the boursin, the parmesan, and you mix it together and let everything get nice and melded and set for a moment or two, it's going to be perfect. You guys, I can't even anymore. This pasta is surreal. Guys, for more recipes like these, I mean, I love pasta so much, and you'll see if you visit PressureLawCooking.com that I make lots of them. Lots of really, really fantastic ones. So go and check that page out. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLawCooking and like that page. Anytime a new recipe comes out, that's where you're going to find it. And also, there's tips there on sales and items, things you don't want to miss. And of course, at Pressure Luck, subscribe to me on YouTube for all my videos, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. I have everything. You can pin any recipe on my page to any Pinterest board you want. Guys, thank you so much again. And sausage and shells. And guys, if you like sausage and you like shells, then my sausage and shells pasta is going to hands down be become your number one favorite pasta ever. All right.